Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for February 1, 2024. Please remember to leave a comment, like, and a share. And in the news this evening, Central Committee of Police Federation expresses condolences at the tragic passing of Constable. The Central Committee of the Police Federation says it notes with deep regret the sudden tragic passing of Constable Roshin Lee of Highway Safety and the Patrol Division on Thursday. Constable Lee was hit by a motor vehicle while on duty along the Edward Siaga Highway early Thursday morning. We are so hurt and saddened by his untimely demise. We mourn with the management and the staff of the Public Safety and the Traffic Enforcement Branch. May God be with you and give you strength during this dark hour, a statement from the Federation read. The incident occurred in the vicinity of Unity Valley sometime after midnight. It is reported that the cop signaled the motorist to stop and was mowed down in the process. He was rushed to hospital and admitted for treatment. Police have confirmed that the motorist is in custody. Two men fatally stabbed in separate incidents in Trelawney. One man is now in police custody after being arrested in connection with two separate fatal stabbings in Falmouth, Trelawney, on Wednesday night. The deceased, both of Trelawney addresses, have been identified as 44-year-old Noel Wilson of Water Lane, Falmouth, and Joel Corey of Martha Bray. According to reports from the Falmouth police, at about 9.30 p.m., Wilson was standing on Parade Street in the vicinity of the public sanitary facility when he was reportedly pounced upon and stabbed in the neck and the chest by an assailant armed with a knife. Then, at about 11.17 p.m., while the police were probing the first scene, they were called to Water Square in the town where Corey was also stabbed. Corey was taken to the Falmouth Public General Hospital where he subsequently succumbed to his injuries. The police say they expect to make a charge soon. Local government elections are set for February 26. Local government elections are to be held on February 26, with the nomination day being February 8. Minister of Local Government Desmond McKenzie made the announcement a short while ago at the Montego Bay Convention Center in St. James. The occasion was a meeting of Jamaica Labour Party local government candidates at the Montego Bay Convention Center in St. James. Under the representation of the People Act, nomination day shall be at least five clear days after the announcement of an election. The law also provides for election day to be at least 16 days or not more than 23 days after nomination day. Local elections were last held in Jamaica on November 28, 2016. Constitutionally due every four years, the next polls were postponed in November 2020 for three months as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. In February 2021, the parliament extended the delay by a further 12 months, making them due by February 27, 2022. Following several postponements, the election was due by the end of this month. Mother and the daughter found dead at home in Clarendon. The Clarendon police are awaiting post-mortem results to determine whether Aki poisoning caused the deaths of a mother and a daughter who were found inside their house at the Brandon Hill on Wednesday evening. The deceased are 76-year-old retired teacher Sylvia Smith and the 38-year-old Natalie Larmond. Both were said to be mentally ill. The women's partially decomposed bodies were discovered about 6 o'clock by concerned residents. Michael Clark said Miss Smith and her daughter were last seen on Monday. He said community members had been worried and went to check when they found the bodies of the mother and the daughter. The police and all those people come and check it out, and all they see nothing like say is rape or the house broken or something like that. They're going to the kitchen there, and they see a pot of Aki down there. So them wondering if it's even from that Aki that they got slow poisoning, he said. Samples of the cooked Aki, which was found on a stove, were taken by the authorities for testing. Residents reported that several days prior, the women appeared unwell. Man charged for fatal Market Street Montego Bay shooting The St. James Police on Wednesday charged a man for the shooting death of another and the injury of a woman on Market Street in Montego Bay. Charged with murder, wounding with intent, 
possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a firearm to commit a felony, is 34-year-old Orin Anderson, otherwise called a proper, a chef of Bamboo District in Hopewell, Hanover. The shooting happened on the morning of December 5, 2023. Reports from the Montego Bay Police are that about 11.48 a.m., Wesley Reed was walking along the roadway with a female relative. They were reportedly approached by an armed man who opened gunfire hitting them. The police were summoned and the injured people were taken to hospital, where Reed was pronounced dead and the woman treated. Intense investigations led to Anderson turning himself in with his attorney on Wednesday, January 31. An arrest warrant was executed on him. His court date is being arranged. 57-year-old chef gunned down in Linstead The police in St. Catherine are probing the killing of a man who was shot dead while awaiting transportation along King Street in Linstead. The deceased has been identified as 57-year-old chef Devon George Ashman, a resident of King Street in Linstead. The police report that about 9.40 a.m. on Wednesday, January 31, Ashman was along the roadway in the vicinity of the entrance to Mickleton when he was approached by a man wearing darker colored clothing who brandished a firearm and shot him repeatedly. The man then escaped into the area. The police were alerted and Ashman was seen on the side of the road. He was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Former Police Inspector Dies Suddenly The sudden death of former Police Inspector Michael Smith has plunged the St. Catherine North Police Division into mourning. Smith was at his home in Horizon Park, St. Catherine on Wednesday evening when he complained about feeling ill. A family member found him unresponsive and they took him to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Smith was a veteran of the defunct Island Special Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Smith is among a number of former police personnel who passed in January 2024. Farmer chops a goat for eating his crops. A corporate era farmer who admitted to chopping a fellow farmer's Nubian goat said the animal is among livestock that keep eating his crops. Ian McCarthy, who pleaded guilty to cruelty to animals in the Kingston and the St. Andrew Parish Court, also explained that he has always spoken to the complainant, seeking to have the issue resolved. Each time I tell him about the goat, him say my go lick me na me face, McCarthy shared it with the court. Judge Carlo Mason suggested that the farmers attend a mediation to have the matter resolved and ask the complainant if he was interested in receiving compensation for the goat. The complainant said that the goat would cost $80,000. The compensation was made in court on Wednesday, however, the prosecutor requested that the matter be adjourned. This was to allow him time to do research, based on McCarthy's utterances, that he suffered a loss of $119,000 in yams and the sweet potatoes because of the complaint on the goats. Your Honor, I have video of the goat coming into my farm and eating. I have every proof, McCarthy said, adding that he is in the process of purchasing yam heads to replant. Your Honor, I want to be fair to both parties, because if the goat was a nuisance to him, and it causes damage that he can quantify, then it would have been justified by him killing the goat. He had the right to kill the goat, and the complainant may not have been entitled to receiving that money. He may have to give it back, the prosecutor explained, noting that he may have to research the Trespass Act and the Malicious Injuries to Property Act. Mason then cautioned the complainant that the issue may be more of a civil matter than a criminal one because the defendant has a claim. Complainant, don't spend that money because what may happen is that you may have to give back that $80,000 and pay him the $119,000 he suffered because of your goats. You have to tie up your goats, Mason cautioned. The matter is said to for mention on March 20.